Hi, my name is Omar. Uh, I'm an embedded systems engineer at Erlang Solutions. Um, videos generally aren't my thing, but over the next couple of weeks I will be showing you uh, some cool applications of Erlang in embedded systems um, on this Raspberry Pi board and other embedded platforms as well. Today we're going to talk a bit about the Raspberry Pi itself and um, I'll also show you a little demo of what I have done so far. Raspberry Pi is exciting because it is an affordable platform um, that could be rolled out to the education market and the foundation's goal is to revamp the ICT curriculum at schools. Um, pr the problem at the moment is there's not much exciting stuff happening within the ICT courses at, at, in schools. Um, so by introducing a small platform, uh, an embedded platform like this, uh, Hopefully the kids will be enthused and they will start programming um, and perhaps doing some cool hardware applications with it as well. Um, we have seen this happening with the Arduino project uh, and it seems like there's a great community around the Raspberry Pi. I think we will see an increase in people excited about computer science in general um, and since this is actually an embedded platform uh, with the out inputs and outputs that you would normally find on an embedded system such as I2C or SPI um, you might actually see uh, young people interested in developing hardware as well and interfacing it with their Raspberry Pis um, so hopefully we will see that effect both on the hardware engineering or electronics engineering side of things and computer science. It's quite funny because even though the board is not public re publicly released yet, um, there are already um, tens of add-on boards uh, that community members have designed and actually started producing. So. Um, you just imagine what will happen when people actually get their hands on their physical you know, units. Um, I think we'll see a great surge in add-on boards um, in the future. Well, the possibilities are truly endless because um, you can plug add-ons to this board. Say, for instance, if you're um, making a little robot, a little mm. buggy that goes around the room or goes outside. Uh, you can get a little GPS module, attach it to this board um, and do some graphical things on your computer to see where your robot is going. Um, alternatively, you can write games on it. Uh, I think that's one of the um, areas the foundation is supporting actually to get to get young people interested in programming, they're um, publishing tutorials or they're supporting the people who publish tutorials, uh, doing game development and so on. For Erlang users, it's quite interesting because Erlang these days is mainly utilized for massively distributed, uh, highly scalable systems. But originally Erlang was designed for embedded applications. The original use case for Erlang was tele telephony applications or telephone switches uh, at Ericsson. So um, this is almost going back to its roots. We are really excited at Erlang Solutions uh, to have a Raspberry Pi in our possession um, because over the next couple of weeks, we will be exploring how to fully utilize um, the peripherals on the board. Uh, I mean, as a pr preliminary experiment, um, I will show you some concurrent blinking lights uh, in a minute. Um, but we think that Erlang is a great fit for embedded systems because it does provide some very interesting features such as concurrency, um, distribution, and fault tolerance and reliability. Um, over the next couple of weeks we will cover these um, in greater detail, um, so keep an eye out for more videos.
Since we only received our Raspberry Pi yesterday, uh, we haven't had much time to do a more impressive demo. But as you can see from these uh, blinking lights, um, Erlang does provide interesting features of concurrency that is built into the VM. So the code fragment we have used to get these LEDs blinking uh, is as follows. And you can also find more details about the inner workings of the blink loop that's referenced on this program um, at the address linked below in the video. In the next video, we will look into how we can link multiple Raspberry Pis together uh, and do a little distributed system using these little boards. Um, we will also look into ways we can offload calculation to um, more powerful devices off Raspberry Pi and see how we can collect data back. Um, so we'll look at a simple, very simple implementation of MapReduce um, on Raspberry Pi. Community is a very important aspect of our project, so uh, we would like to hear your comments or your project ideas. Um, I think a very good example of how a community can um, really make a difference is the Arduino project. Um, so if you're interested in Erlang, uh, ut utilizing Erlang as part of your embedded systems project, or just want to learn more about it, uh, do send us a message. We're on Twitter. You can leave a comment on this video as well, and soon uh, you will be able to uh, go to our shiny new website and look at the wiki and post comments on our articles that will be posted over there as well.